another blue sky day with breeze and great temperatures on day three of the 470 World Championships in Barcelona. In the first men's race, McNay and Beal from the U.S. started on the committee boat side, but with so many boats over the line, a general recall was inevitable. When the race for the yellow group got underway, Tobiasen and Johansson from Denmark started first on the pin end with Belcher and Page a few meters to windward. They clearly both wanted to make for the left side of the course. The Danish pair were sailing really fast with the Aussies on their heels and the Israelis to leeward. An aerial view shows those who took the decision to tack early in the first 200 meters, but which side would prove the more favorable in the end? During the downwind, Sarmiento and Barredos from Spain were closing on the Aussies, but both were left quite far behind since their decisions weren't exactly the best ones during the upwind. Casuda and Farnetti from Italy rounded the gate first, a safe lead separating them from Argentina's Sucari and Rena. They were followed by Gulix and Podlagar from Slovenia and the team from Korea. At this stage, none of the favorites were among the top places in the race. Expect the unexpected. Finally, the Australian pair rounded around 10th and once again picked the left side. Would it prove to be the right side now? Well, yes. So after a second upwind that could only be called tricky, they were up into second with the Israels Klieger and Sella ahead of them. Klieger and Sella tried to block their wind and sailed until they left ley line before they tacked. But the Aussies were in excellent form and rounded the mark just 10 meters behind. Matt Belcher gave his view on the race. We were, started the first speed out on the left-hand side um, and we had our prediction, we, our feeling would be that it would shift further left. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't cross the right-hand side and uh, we really actually noticed that um, the, on that first downwind, we got back into, I think, about 10th position, um, which, was, which was not bad. I think we rounded in, in about 12th, 13th or something. And uh, as we were coming down, we, we noticed that there was a little bit more pressure at the left. Um, we weren't quite expecting the shift that, that eventuated. And, uh, you know, lucky for us, we, we separated a little bit and uh, got a really nice shift just to get back into that group. The 470 Men Blue Fleet had a general recall in the first race of the day, as almost all boats started over the line. When the second start was given, Martinez and Curbelo from Spain found themselves well positioned with the Greeks on leeward. And another Greek pair also started quite well. Many other teams that didn't manage to enjoy a great start were forced to tack, like Spain's Tour and Gayar, and the Polish pair of Ogrodnik and Cheroba. The upwind was a challenge for many teams with the unpredictable and shifty conditions. In the end, Desi Derarto and Piante from Italy rounded first, followed by Argentina's Calabrese and De La Fuente. Germany's pair of Wagner and Baldwin were a few places behind. In the 470 men red fleet, Finland's Jonas and Nicholas Lindgren were ahead from early on with Snow and Saunders from New Zealand and the French team of Skotse and Nebu chasing. The Croatian pair of Fontela and Mananitz were further behind after a few mistakes going upwind. Could they possibly recover? They weren't alone. Germany's Gerts and Fulman, as well as Greece's Kampordidis and Papadopoulos had similar problems. Over in the women's fleet, the fight for the Olympic qualification was full on, the teams each attempting to predict the most favorable side and where the next shift would come from. In the Yellow Fleet, China's Zhao Mei and Chun Nai started pretty well on the pin end. Westerhoff and Burkhout were to be found a few meters to windward. but the Dutch pair were left behind early on in the race and had to tack immediately after rounding the mark so they could head to the right side.
Over in the Blue Fleet, Luch and Burke from Germany started really well, although many others were not as successful and their only option was tacking. Today concluded the qualification series, with the fleets now split into gold and silver for the women and gold, silver and bronze for the men as the championship moves forward to the final series. Join us again tomorrow in Barcelona for race day 4 of the 2012 470 World Championship.